Hello guys! Today I would like to share with you some of my tricks to achieve a cinematic look in DaVinci Resolve 18. Some of the effects that I will be using are available only in the studio version of Resolve, but even if you haven't purchased it yet, I am sure that you will still be able to benefit from this video. This is before and after. I hope you'll like it. Let's start! And we are in the color tab and this is the clip. It has been shot on Blackmagic Pocket Camera and I got it from Artgrid. I will leave you a link to that website below if you are interested. And let's minimize the view so I can show you my node tree. We have the exposure node first, then we have the balance, then we have two layer nodes. And on the top one, we will be adjusting our look. And on the bottom one, we will be isolating the skin after that, we will move to the vignette where we will be reshaping the lighting in the shot. And this is one of the tricks I like to use to get a cinematic look. Then we will be adding glow, which is available only in the studio version of Resolve. And then at the end, as usual, we have the color space transform. So let's click on it and let's transform the clip to Rec. 709 first. So I will go up here to the FX tab. I will search for color space transform and I will drop it onto my node. And I know how the clip was shot, so my input color space will be Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Gen 4, and my input gamma will be the same. And then I will leave the output color space and gamma as it is, because my project is set to Rec. 709 already. So this is before and after. So we brought a lot of contrast to the clip and it already looks great but it's just the beginning. So let's change our scopes to waveform first so we can see the actual brightness of the image. And here we can see that the highlights are clipped here a bit, but this is that part of the window, so it's all fine. But also we can see that this clip is a bit too dark. The blacks go below zero. So let's fix this. So I'll move to the exposure node then and I will use the lift to push the shadows up a bit so we can recover some information in the darkest parts of the clip here and this is before and after. Now we will be adjusting the balance, so I'll change the waveform to the vector scope. And as you maybe remember from my previous tutorial, where I was explaining the scopes in order to balance the shot properly, we want to have this trace perfectly in the middle. Now the clip is quite warm and the trace is moved towards red, so let's use the offset to fix it. And let's move it towards blue. And this is before and after. Now the shot looks more neutral and it's well prepared for the actual color grading. So let's start building our cinematic look. And first, I will isolate the skin tones as I want to leave them as they are now. That's why we are using the layer nodes. So when applying the look on the top node, it won't affect the skin tones when they are isolated correctly. So I will click on the skin node then and then I'll grab the qualifier and I will select the skin. Then let's turn on the highlight to see how it looks. And let's refine the selection using the hue and the luminance slider. Okay, we still have a bit of background selected, but I think that it will also benefit from it. So let's leave it as it is. And let's also blur the selection. And then let's denoise it. All right, let's scroll through the clip so we can see it. Okay, looks all right. So let's turn the highlight off. And now let's click on the look node and let's start creating something interesting here. So I can see that the clip is still quite warm in general. So let's maybe go to the gain wheel and let's push it towards teal. All right, let's be quite courageous here. Let's enhance that blue teal dress. And this is what we've got. This is before and after. It looks a bit quirky maybe and unusual. I love it. And now let's disable the skin node. So I will show you what would have happened if we haven't isolated the skin tones properly. So look at that. It doesn't look right. That's why in most cases we have to isolate the skin tones while creating film looks. But let's enable our skin tone node again and let's move to the vignette where I will show you how I manipulate lighting to get a more cinematic look. So I'll click on the node and I'll go down here to the power windows. 
Then I'll grab the ellipse and I'll spread it like this. Then I'll soften the edges like this. Then I'll reverse the ellipse here, which means that we will be changing what's outside the ellipse, not inside. And then we'll go back to the color wheels and we will decrease the gamma, darkening the part of the shot outside the ellipse. And this is before and after. And this way we brought more attention to the main subject. All right. Now let's move to our last node where I'll be adding our glow effect. So let's find it in the effects tab and let's drop it onto the node. And this is a default result. So the glow effect uses the brightest parts of the image and generates a glow based on them. But I think that maybe it's a bit too strong. So I will use the shine threshold and the spread sliders to make it more subtle. So you can also have fun with that. And this is the result before and after. So we basically added a bit of that soft light to the clip, which makes it look more cinematic, more interesting. So now let's see the final result full screen. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.